What's up guys? So I'm excited to do a video today on Joyful Dirt. I don't know if you have heard of Joyful Dirt, but I have literally seen it in almost every plant shop I've been to. This fertilizer, it is literally the easiest fertilizer to use. Joyful Dirt doesn't need to be mixed into any kind of water or really any soil, so it is super easy to use. I'll give you guys my review of this product and then I'll water some plants so you guys can see how it's applied and everything like that. I will just say this as a disclaimer they are not paying me to give this review they did not pay or sponsor this video this is just my strict review I want to start doing videos like this where I show you products that I love and maybe you guys might find some products that you'll start loving in the process I do have a 10% off discount for you guys I will put the code down here and then you can also check out the link in the description which it will just automatically apply that discount for you at checkout. We are in the growing season. When we're in the growing season, that basically means that your plants are growing and they need a ton of fuel. They need a lot of fertilizer and a lot more water than they would in the fall and winter. So you're planting a lot more attention in the spring and summer, but also you wanna live your life and you wanna go out and do fun stuff and you wanna be able to like go on vacation. So sometimes I feel like for me, it's hard to manage giving my plants what they need and also being able to like live my life. I have a lot of plants. I have probably over a hundred house plants. And when it comes to watering, it takes me at least a half a day. Like I'm not kidding. Like if I start at nine o'clock, I'm not done until like two or three. Now that is me completely bringing them to the sink, rinsing them out, mixing fertilizers, mixing any water additives treating plants, wiping them down. I feel like Joyful Dirt has kind of taken that step out where I don't really need to be mixing all of my fertilizers. Joyful Dirt has created a line of fertilizers specific for specific plants. Now they do have like an all-purpose fertilizer, which is really kind of for any plant. Both of the all-purpose fertilizers are basically geared toward like really outdoor plants, indoor plants, bigger plants. And then they have one specific for house plants. So this is good for your tropical plants, your calatheas, your alocasias, your any house plants, honestly. Then they also have a succulent one and an F-bomb, which is kind of funny because uh, let's be honest, all of our ficuses, I'm looking at you for the leaf bag, want to, we want to like literally throw the F-bomb because they're such like picky plants. So having a specific like plant fertilizer for those plants kind of takes the guesswork out of it. The other great thing about Joyful Dirt is the fact that they're specifically formulated to not burn your house plants. When you're applying Joyful Dirt onto your plants, you're literally shaking a few shakes onto your topsoil and then watering over it. Now you can add it to your water, but honestly, if I'm going to be adding it to my water, it's not going to be really taking that much less time than if I were to just use Foliage Pro. So because I've formulated these fertilizers to not have any foliage burn, you don't really have to like measure them like super well. They basically just say one shake on each side of the plant. If you have a bigger plant, you can do a little bit more. You're not going to over fertilize your plants, which is amazing because there's been so many fertilizers that I've worked with like miracle Grow, I love miracle Grow. It's a great fertilizer, but because it's such a chemical compound, like there's so many like man-made products in there, like you can over fertilize. And I've had like my plants literally burn, like not on fire. The foliage will just be like crispy and just like not happy. And you're like, what the heck happened? Like I just watered this plant. Plants like these two, like my succulents and my cactuses, I'm probably only gonna do one shake of them. Where my big fiddly fig, I might do like four or five shakes and then water it in. So the best part about Joyful Dirt is what I do is I literally will go around all my plants. So say it's a watering day, I'll go around and I will get everybody. I will 
literally sprinkle this fertilizer on all of my plants. And I'll kind of do it depending on what plant, obviously, like the succulent will go on these cactuses and stuff like that. Now there are some days where some plants don't need to be watered that day. You can just let the joyful dirt just sit on the soil until the next time it needs to be watered. And then you can just water that in. I would have a hard time because you know, not every plant needs to be watered on a schedule. My medium to lower light plants may not need to be watered or at least checked on twice a week. It's great because you can just kind of put that on the top soil and not have to take and basically take the guessing work out of did I fertilize this plant or not. So I have a few plants here with me that I need to water so I can show you basically how I apply it onto my plants. I also have a few plants like my fiddly fig over off camera that I'll show you basically how to water like a bigger plant. Let's go ahead and water these plants. Okay, so one thing that I have noticed with the Joyful Dirt that I, it's not that I don't like it, it's just uh, something to be aware of. So like I had mentioned, when I'm watering my plants, when I'm using this Joyful Dirt, it's basically when I'm in a rush, when I don't really wanna like fuss over like mixing all these chemicals, I feel like like a, like a wizard making potions. So I, will warn you when you water over this it comes out very dark so it's not like a clear water that comes out it's like a really dark water so you'll see like all the water kind of pooling up i'm gonna kind of show you basically how i water my plants with the joyful dirt so i have this bowl here this will basically catch all the water so i don't get it all over my white table so i'm going to be using the succulent fertilizer on my cactuses um, I don't have any succulents, um, so we're just gonna use this. I don't know if you guys remember this guy, but he's actually growing little little nubs from the, uh, you can see it back there, um, from pigment, from my pigment video. So I have not used the succulent one yet, so let me pull off this seal. Um, now they mention in their videos that you should shake up the um, that you should shake up the fertilizer just to make sure that it's all like mixed up because things can like settle. So you just want to like shake it up really well. And the other thing I will say, um, other than the fact that it comes out really dark. Also be aware that it's very dusty, but it is organic. So if you do get it, like inhale it, it's not gonna be bad. Now I just do a couple little shakes onto the, ooh, onto the top soil. So I just did a tiny, tiny bit and then you just water it in. It's really that simple, honestly. I was actually kind of nervous doing this on my like white rocks because I was like, I don't want the white rocks to get like gross. It's actually not staining them, which is great. So you guys can see that it leaves like a very dark like liquid at the bottom. It's always a good too, little trick, to water your plants with a bowl. Like if you need like a catch pot or anything like that, you can water it with like a bowl. This is actually great because then you can bottom water. So after a few plants, you can start bottom watering with the leftover fertilizer. Yes, do make sure that your plant doesn't have like root mealies or anything going on like that could fall into the water, but that's a good way to kind of be a little more sustainable when you're doing like your houseplant stuff. Also probably should have grabbed a uh, towel, but <laughs> that's fine. We'll let, let that drip out. And it's, it's gonna be a mess, but it's fine. So then kind of the same thing with this cactus. So you'll wanna just, this over. So you wanna just kind of sprinkle this on. 
Now see, I would, I would honestly think that this would be a lot. I'd be like, oh wow, that's like too much fertilizer for this cactus. But again, you can't over fertilize with this stuff, um, which is great because again, you don't have to measure it, which is just so honestly like music to my ears. Anything that will make the process of like caring for my plants easier. The soil is a little bit hydrophobic, is that what it's called? But we'll let that kind of rinse through. Honestly, I haven't watered this cactus in a while. Rinsing through. Starting to drip through, so that's good. I afterward might take like normal water in like my, um, my squeezy bottle just to kind of like rinse off the rocks because I don't want the rocks to stain. I don't know. Actually, I've never, I haven't watered any of my succulents or cactuses with the joyful dirt. So I am not sure if it will stain like decorative rocks, um, but we'll see. Now this one's going to be a little bit different. Instead of using the succulent, we're going to use the house plant which is this one. So houseplant fertilizer. So this one is going to be for both my philodendron Rio and my um, parlor palm over here. I've been using this one mostly, like just cause I've been watering my houseplants. I actually used the vegan, um, I used the vegan all purpose on my, um, I have like a garden, like a little like herb garden. And I used that on there just cause I'm like, well, it's organic and it's vegan. So that might be a good option for someone who is vegan and you're going to be consuming your plants, um, like herbs or vegetables, fruits, anything like that. So again, I added a little bit extra onto there so i'll show you so that's just kind of like what i did i just added a couple little little shakes on there and then you just water it through now again if you don't if this plant didn't need to be watered you can just put it back on the shelf and when it needs to be watered you know that's going to be watered and fertilized but this plant definitely needs to be watered so we'll water that Now, if I watered all of these plants, like if I thought it through and watered all these plants with the houseplant fertilizer and not use the cactus and succulent one, um, I would have just bottom watered this parlor palm, but because I don't think it would hurt it, but I, I don't really want to risk that. So I'm just going to like water over that and then just let it drain through. But we'll do the same with the parlor palm. I'll just kind of like sprinkle it on and then water over it. All right, and then this guy. The all purpose is uh, for a plant that might need a lot more fertilizer, a little bit more of like a hungrier plant. And the house plant ones are kind of a little bit less potent. So like I would suggest maybe watering your allocasias with the all purpose, just because they are definitely heavier feeders, especially in the spring and summer. So you'll want to make sure that you give them a good amount of of food to make them happy and not go dormant. You see me shaking, it's starting to get heavy with one hand. So I might not let this one like completely drain through just cause I don't want to have to like have it sit there, but it's looking good. I'll probably water it more 
like off camera, unless it starts spilling out right now. But then if you were to water like all of your plants with the same thing, you can just bottom water with this like afterward. So, and then with my fiddly fig, you wanna add like four to five shakes to that plant and just make sure that you water it in just as well as you did with all of the other plants that I just showed you. I know for sure that all of these fertilizers are specifically designed for specific plants. So the F-bomb is going to be for your fiddly figs and your ficuses, so your rubber trees or anything like that. I've even used the F-bomb on my big dracaena and my living room. So that dragon tree is like a huge plant. You can also use the all-purpose on that plant too, but um, I wanted to try it out. But that's it. That is basically my new favorite thing, my new favorite fertilizer, especially in the spring and summer months. You can do this only once a month. So that is such music to my ears, like honestly. I just, honestly, I love it. And I wanted to share that with you guys and let you guys know basically something that I have been loving lately. I know that you guys ask me all the time about like what fertilizers I use. I get a ton of questions about fertilizers. So I wanted to share with you guys one that I have been loving. But that's it for today. Let me know in the comments if you've used Joyful Dirt or if you are planning to maybe try it out and give it a go. I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.